Okay, I think we're live. Um, so somebody tell us if you can't hear us or if there's some type of an issue. Anyway, welcome to the Exhale 2018 EX, the very first Facebook book Live. We're actually planning on doing a Facebook Live every single month that will be tied to 2018 EX. Now, I know how this always works. Facebook has got to like notify you and then you've got to come. And so I know that, that it'll take a minute for you to, to file in, um, but we're going to go ahead and get started so that, because I have several things that I want to share. And um, so I'm going to, I'm going to jump right in. First of all, I'm going to talk about you guys, one of the tips to being a successful memory planner is having a bin or a bag, it could be whatever, a bin, a bag, a box, all of your stuff together so that um, you always know where it is so that you can kind of take it where you need it to go. Like there's times when I want to, like maybe my family's watching a movie or TV or something and I want to come and sit in the kitchen at the kitchen table and work on my planner. Or maybe um, I want to sit in my bed. That's one of the places that I like to work on my planner as well, sit in my bed. Or maybe I take it upstairs to my scrapbook area. Um, so I find that it's super effective to have everything together so that you can, so that you can just take it around. So I have a cute little pencil cup here. I recommend this one. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. Super cute. I have colored pencils, colored pens, different point sizes of pens, some scissors, Today, I knew I needed a bone folder, so I grabbed that. Um, I also keep my planner in it. This is my 2018 planner. I chose the classic size. It's the glittery gold. Um, but, of course, you might also have either the pink glitter or the iridescent. They're all shiny and splendid. So no matter which one you have, um, you'll want to keep it together. And some people, I know a lot of you have different planners for different things in your life. Maybe you have a home life planner, a work planner. Um, no matter how you're working it, um, keep it all together. That's my tip. All right. Also in here, um, I like to keep treats. This is my favorite planner treat. I don't know if you guys have heard me talk about this before. But just as a, like, just as a friendly service to you and to your family, actually, no. Don't share this with your family, whatever happens. Keep this in your planner bin or bag and do not let anybody know you have them because it's already hard enough not to eat the entire bag yourself. All right, so um, just keep those handy. Um, they're hard to find, just as a, as a side note. Okay, so in here I also have my little life print printer. You've seen me talk about that. I like to use that. Um, I have this little set of post-it notes and I'm going to tell you why these have been like a life changing in my life. And then I have a bunch of my Fresh Start sticker books. And you know, I wanted to choose a Fresh Start sticker book that I would use and stick with during a month and um, I've had trouble with that because I like to skip around. So I'm just going to be right up front. I like to use them all. So, and I also really love this sticker book and this one is this is like a massive sticker book there's 30 pages in it and um i've also found you know the colors like the colors all really work well together with my fresh start stuff too so this one you can i believe you can still find it at hobby lobby you can find it online at scrapbook.com um and there are also maybe other online retailers that have it but this is a great one to to find um so all right so i like to keep all of my sticker books together. This might seem excessive, <laughs> um, six sticker books, but actually it, it's interestingly, strangely just not. It's very comfortable, comfortable amount of stickers to have. Um, in here I also have my storybooks and I'm going to talk about the storybooks a little bit more today and um, I have my list books that I like to use as well. So anyway, it's just nice, good tip to keep everything together. Um, I also have here my sticker, my photo sticker templates. And I'm going to talk about these a little bit more as we progress here together today. Okay, so um, let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about, well, 
actually, why don't I just kind of show you where I'm at so far in February. Um, so if we flick here to February, and we'll make this easy so you can see it nice and close. I have added my new exhale printable, which um, it is really cool. It opens up so that you can write inside. It's beautiful, and I'm going to talk about this in just a minute. So put a, put a hold on that one. Um, I like to keep this little stencil handy. I use it a lot for, um, I really like it for these little pieces down here, these little bubble uh, bullet making areas. I'll kind of show you where I used it, but I like to keep it handy. I kind of have been moving it from month to month or week to week. Um, this is what the first page of my February looks like. Here I'm kind of, I have all the different events that I'm preparing for right now, the special events that happen during the month, um, some of the things that I'm working on, and this month has been especially a recharge month for me that I've just decided to like call it that. Um, so that's what I kind of wrote, some of the things that I've been, how I've been recharging. recharging. This kind of gives you an overview of what the month has looked like so far for me. Um, it's been a busy month, even, as, well, especially that first week and coming into this first week, I, whew, I had a lot going on. And sometimes that's really like the best part about the planner is that <clears throat> even people say to you, okay, what did you do last week? And then you like, your mind goes blank and it just all feels like a blur. Um, if you're writing things down every day, that helps to, and I always say stop the blur. So um, I, of course, like to make it look pretty. You can see here that I've added a couple photos. You guys, have you ever tried HelloFresh? I don't know if you saw that on my story. It's kind of been life-changing for me. I got another shipment yesterday, and um, I'm making that tonight, so I'm pretty excited. Um, okay, so then in here, and, and I just kind of wanted to show you what happened? So February started on a Thursday this week. And so that meant that this entire first page was blank in my February. Um, and so what I chose to do was fill it up with some photos and some information about really what was happening right then and there. Um, so it was kind of a dedication to Quincy and her drill journey um, because that's it was like an all-consuming life. So that's kind of what has happened there. Um, and what I love about my planner is also kind of a place for me just to document what's going on in my life. So when we started in on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of February, this might have been what like did me in. Um, we were going to the state drill competition. It was an all-night, all-day, all-night kind of an experience. Um, I wrote a lot about it and I had a lot of different feelings. And if you saw it on my stories, I kind of was thinking a lot about, um, I had just launched this, this, this whole campaign, this whole journey of Exhale. And I was kind of trying to piece together um, why and how and, and why it was so impart, important in my life that I wanted to share it. So I was, so I was writing a little bit, a lot about that and thinking about breathing. And so then this is the second week um, of February, starting with Monday. And I just wanna show you right here, if you look really close, hopefully we can zoom in. Emily is our videographer um, today for our Facebook Live. Um, so you can see here, these little circles are just traced from that little stencil that I was talking about. I'm gonna, this guy, let me pop it out really quick. Um, it's already got, comes with holes in it, so you can just stick it right into your planner. Um, let's see. But, like, so if you can see, see these different size circles and squares? I love them because I just trace them and then I have very even squares and circles for me to do bullet points and stuff like that. So, okay. So that's what happened right here. This was the things that I was working on on Monday. Um, I did a little bit of hand lettering. And you can see that I've really used a lot of colored pencils. I love colored pencils in my planner, mostly because it just doesn't bleed to the next side. Um, I've been using two different colors of green colored pencils. This is a good one, right? This, this is a problem with the pencils. Um, but anyway, so I keep the colored pencils handy that I want to kind of use so it looks uniform. 
Um, then here I go again using my square. Okay, so this is an example of when I did not use the template, and then I was like, wait, I want to use my template. And then these three look all a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more uniform. Um, anyway, a lot happened on Wednesday, so I was kind of giving highlights. I got my first HelloFresh, and like I said, it was kind of life changing. I launched, I, I was able to announce that I'd be teaching at Gomon Give, so I printed out these little photos. So I'm going to talk about this a little bit more, but um, this is an example of those that square templated. A lot of people have asked me and DM'd me how I'm getting these little photos. And um, it's great because they're just little stickers. They come right off and you stick them right in your planner. We're going to talk more about this in a minute, but that's where that kind of comes from. Another thing that I find really helpful in my planner is compartmentalizing things. So to-do list for work, to-do list for personal. Um, and then Eric and Connor got the opportunity to head to Ireland. So he's been sending me some photos. I included a couple of them here. And see this awesome illustration that I did of the Irish flag? I'm really proud of that. Um, <laughs> I have a little rugby sticker. So I don't know how many other sticker people you can count on for, for rugby stickers, but right there, you can count on me. Um, this was it. This was the day. Friday, the day that I crashed. Everything came crashing down. I realized I was EX exhausted. And I was taking a lot of deep breaths. Um, and I found out, I realized that I needed to clear everything off for the weekend and press pause. So we went out to breakfast. Um, it was Emily's birthday. And, um, and anyway, so this week has been a recovery week. So I started out and um, Again, I was doing more lists. I like to kind of keep track of what I was doing. Here you can see I had a lot of appointments and things scheduled on Tuesday. Some days are full of things that actually are, have to happen at certain times. And sometimes I'm just trying to cram certain things into those blocks of time. All right, now, what you're seeing here is the rest of my week that I have not decorated or added anything at all except for these post-it notes. And so this is kind of my secret. I've been getting a lot of questions and people asking me like, okay, how, how do, what is my, they want to see a tutorial of how I'm actually writing in my planner. And I've never actually created a tutorial because it's definitely a process and it's definitely something that I um, do kind of on the fly. And so, what I have done here, what, what I've just discovered is this option of putting um, sticky notes right into your planner and then you'll just jot down little bullet points of what went on. It doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be fancy. I did find these really cute colorful ones that I actually like better, these small ones, because they're going to fit right onto the days better. Um, but that way you can kind of write down and even if you were to go forward you could put post-it notes here and then when you're ready to make it pretty or decide if you want to put a photo in or a sticker in or whatever you might be adding into your planner then you're not kind of stressed like oh what if I wish that I would have put something else in that area so this is my friendly neighborhood tip of pre-planning using post-it notes so that when you're ready to sit down and go back and maybe add photos or stickers or whatever, that you kind of know all the information that you want to include in that day. So um, I want to share just one more piece of my personal, let's see. All right, we're already 15 minutes in. I got to talk faster or something. Um, okay, so right here on my wall, I have this big calendar. And this is actually not even the real calendar. It's kind of um, it's kind of a fake, a mocked up version. But this is available now. You can actually buy it as part of the Fresh Start collection. And what's so great about this? And I'm going to just show you like my January one because I have it hanging in. I have it in here. I put a little bit more effort into January. Is looking pretty. And February has kind of just like hit me like a bowling ball, sort of. Um, but the great thing about this is I can share all the information with my family. 
And so everybody kind of knows what's going on, knows what they have, what I have, um, and then kind of knows what to expect. Now, just for kicks and giggles here, I'll show you. Um, I've been doing this for quite some time. This goes back like two years. Um, and I don't think that I have them all here. But sometimes I've put a little bit more effort into it. Sometimes I haven't. <laughs> but what's cool about it is that I've been able to look back and it's something that we've all kind of been a part of. Um, okay, so when you use this, like along the top of it, it says newsworthy, special events, highlights. This is a great place to kind of extrapolate the stuff that you really want to remember or focus on out of your everyday life. It might also help you remember what was going on so that when you actually do sit down into your planner and document, you won't forget stuff because it is hard to remember all the things that we have going on. All right. So that's kind of how I piece it together from the wall, maybe now onto the post-it notes, which is kind of a new innovation for me. Um, and then I take time to write that down. Um, now, as I've mentioned, I really love to include photos into my planner. And so really quickly, I want to go over this. I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you, um, like in this video, we're not going to talk about exactly how the templates work, but these two packages are now available. I know that you can find them at scrapbook.com, joanne.com. There might, you'll probably also be able to find them at other retailers. Now, one of these is for the personal size. You'll see that up here in the top, and one is the classic size. The openings on the pages are different sizes in the classic or the personal. And so this gives you, and you can see here on the back, both sizes has three different style of templates. Now, when you go onto my website and you go into collections, you will find, um, it, says it says photo templates there. And there you'll be able to download either um, the templates for Photoshop or the templates for Pages. Those are the two options that we have and we are working on an app, so hopefully that will make it easier. We'll be talking more about this on our stories and on a blog post about exactly how to do it. But you guys, look at how cool this is when, um, when you print them out. So here, and I have to give a shout out to Maggie Massey. She's somebody on my team. She's one of my team members. And she has actually been using this, which is the, the travel journal that goes along with this. And she's actually taken all of the little things that I've been sharing um, on social media about Fresh Start, about exhaling, about breathing, all that stuff this month. And she's actually documenting her journey here inside this planner. Um, and so I'm going to be linking you to that later on today. But you can see here, like when, when I pull this little sticker off, this is a sticker sheet. The paper is sticky. This is HP quality photo paper. It works beautifully with your inkjet printer. And very easily you can add the images into the template and print it out. And then these are specifically sized for, um, for the areas in this booklet. So for example, all right, um, let me go back to the month at a glance. Here you can see that these squares, um, so my HelloFresh, this little photo of myself, even this little graphic that was for our state finals, I printed them out on these little square templates and they fit right into these squares. So that's pretty cool. I also love to use them here inside. This size, which is this template, fits, let me just, I'm going to show you one that's empty here, fits this large opening. And these ones right here, so for example, I can go here into Friday, right here on the 16th, 
and place this photo right there. And I'll remember that today was my Facebook Live and that was the little graphic that I used. Um, now on this one in particular, you can see that this photo is actually sized just right for right here, this little opening in my planner. But I printed it this way. Now obviously you can put it wherever you want. I have printed these out. These are from Eric and Connor being over in Ireland right now. And I'm actually going to be including them in my little storybook. So you can also use the photos in your storybooks or in your planner wherever, in your traveler's journal, wh wherever you like. So it's really cool that you can get all of the templates all in the pack, like three different templates in the package. You can, obviously, you can totally use the personal sized templates in the classic size planner. There's not like a photo sized police that's gonna come over and freak out because you didn't follow the rules because you know me, total rule, rule breaker. Um, anyway, so that just kind of gives you an idea of the possibilities here. And you guys, once you start putting your photos into your planner, it's like an addiction. It's so cool because it just adds so much information and feeling and depth into your planner. Okay, now we're going to skip to the printable because I'm really excited about it turned out so cute. So big shout out to my team, especially Sheila, who worked on this. I asked her to, when, when we talked about this, I wanted this to be something that you filled in. And it definitely goes along with the things that we've been talking about. So this is designed to go inside your planner. There's two different sizes. So if you go to the exhale page and go all the way down to the very bottom of the page, it will say free download. That's where you click the button and this will pop right, download right to your computer. You can choose whether you want the personal size or the classic size. You can see here that, look, the personal size fits right into the classic size as well. It's just not quite as large. So whichever one you like, you can grab and print out. So the first thing before I kind of talk about what's in here and, and why, I want to talk to you about how to print it, okay? Because I messed it up the first time. So it's actually a PDF file that you will be downloading. And I printed mine out on white cardstock. And when you print it, this is the classic size, you'll want to print it double-sided. So when you download the PDF, excuse me, it will give you that option to print on two-sided, okay? Now, I didn't know this, so this is kind of a new trick, and I'm going to try to show it to you on my computer um, because I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm 46 years old or something, and I definitely should have already known how to work this. I actually don't think I'm 46 not yet. I'm 46 yet. I keep, I can't, I'm only 45. I think I'm nervous think about it. Okay, okay. So when it comes into your computer, it's going to look like this. And when you go to print, oh shoot, I can't do this upside down very good. Okay, so when you go file print, I'm just printing from my preview. Um, see, it says double-sided, so it already knows that I want to set it double-sided. And then when I go down here, let's see, what do I do? Presets? Mm, show details. This is what I want. Okay, so down here where it says underneath orientation, uh, where it says preview, I'm going to go down to layout. And then it's going to, when I go down here, it says two-sided. Okay, so I didn't even know this exists, you guys. So I click two-sided, and I'm going to pick short edge binding. Okay? So when you click this, when you do the short edge binding, that is what's going to make sure that it prints correctly um, double-sided. All right? And then just push print. So you learn something new every day. That was kind of, that was kind of big. All right. So then when you, um, okay. So if you don't, if you don't print it right, it will print out upside down on the other side. So make sure that you print, you 
click the short edge binding so that it will actually be right side up on both the front and the back. Okay, so hopefully that makes some sense. All right, then all you're going to have to do is trim it and then you'll very easily be able to see where the fold is. So as it folds over, it's going to align with the stripes and it also will indicate exactly where to punch the holes. So you can just use like, you know, a standard size hole punch to punch those holes out. All right, now when you look at the inside, you're going to see that there are the four circles, which is our experience, expectations, no, experience, exceptional, express, and expectations. This gives you a place where you can kind of write about your thoughts and how you have incorporated these things into your planning and your goal setting and your perspective this month. Over here, there's two different boxes. One says breathe in and one says breathe out. So I have taken time to kind of write down the things that I'm breathing in and the things that I'm breathing out and letting go of. Then down here, it says remember the extraordinary. And this is a place to write maybe quotes, thoughts, or notes, things that have kind of resonated with you during this month. And so I have just written down some of the things that have stuck out to me or some of the things that I have shared with you on this month's journey. And, um, and then there's a quote on the back, and I did a little hand lettering on there as well. So you'll be able to... Now that, you know, we've been talking about this stuff all month, and as I mentioned, I wanted to start out this entire year's journey with a focus on, um, on breathing and on self-acceptance, a little self-care and self-love, making sure that this whole year is built on a foundation of knowing that you're worth it and that your aspirations and your dreams and your goals, all the things that you want to have happen this year and that you want to make happen um, that, that you feel valued. But also this whole breathing thing, it really is a tool in order to create um, calm and compassion for yourself. It's like it's totally scientifically proven that if you do breathe, you, your, heart, your heart rate will come down and you will feel more calm, and you'll be able to think more clearly. That when we're in crisis, we stop breathing um, effectively, and that our body starts receiving less and less oxygen. And so I hope that this breathing and thinking about breathing is something that as we move forward into other months, that it's something that you'll still think about and still incorporate into your life, as well as self-care, self-love, and self-appreciation as we go forward. So we still have a couple weeks left in this month, and um, so I will still continue to share my thoughts about um, exhaling and about breathing and about self-love and appreciation as we finish out this month. Um, we're already working on our EX word for next month behind the scenes, at Heidi Swap, and um, I'm really excited to be able to introduce that to you. So um, thank you so much for joining me, for coming, and for learning, and for believing that every day is a fresh start, and every day is that chance to get things done and to be the best version of yourself. Anyway, again, thank you for joining me, and um, have a great day. Happy Friday. Happy Friday.